Hello, <clears throat> welcome to another video. From today we are going to solve Protostar Net Zero. Um, the description says this level takes a look at converting strings to little endian integers. So let's f um, first get through the source code. So we see here the main function. The main function um, starts our background process as a daemon. So um, Yes, it, what the background uh, um, process does is run in the background. <laughs> um, afterwards, it's waiting for socket activity. So it's waiting for input, uh, output or er errors on the socket. And there we set those um, IOs, those inputs and outputs. And at the end, it will run um, a function called run. The function... Um, um, generates a random integer, unset integer value, and prints out what value it wanted to have or wanted to to get, reads um, the input from the socket, or, or, or performs an f read and reads the va um, value from std in into i. <coughs> And afterwards checks if i is equal to wanted and prints out thank you sir madam and if not it prints out i'm sorry so what do we need so we first need to listen on a socket to get a certain number which will be this number and which will be the wanted number then we need to convert this number to a 30-bit um, little nbn integer and at the last step we need to send it back to the socket so for this point we will first try net zero program so there is nothing happening but um, because it's a background process we can check if the process is running ps minus aux and we will grab for a net so there we see that the net process is running currently. Yes, so the net process is running for net zero, so it is listening on this port. And now we will, we are going to write a Python script to do those um, to do to receive the data. So this printf and to convert this wanted and send it back. So we call it net0.py. So let's first include this some stuff. So from struct import everything and from socket import everything. Um, first we need to create a socket for the communication. So as socket af inet and soc stream afterwards um, we need to connect to the socket so s dot connect um, the socket runs on the local machine so local host which is this IP and the port we want to listen is um, 2999 which is Port we are uh, given in the C code. So next we um, receive some some input. So wanted for well, let's call it input. Input is s dot receive, and we will receive two uh, one thousand and twenty four bytes. Um, then we are going to print it out. Let's do some debugging stuff here. Plus input. So what we should receive is this printf. Okay. Um, next we want to grab this uh, wanted integer 
out of the input. So um, how do we do it? We, we, um, we see that there are single quotes here. So we will grab it out of the single quotes. So we make a variable called start, which is um, input dot find, and we will find those single quotes plus one because it starts counting by zero or with zero, and end and um, is input dot find find and we will find another single quote but after start next we get the number which is int um, of input and between start and end okay um, next we we will print out what we want to send um, so send plus string um, number now we need to convert the number so converted is um, so we could basically just use pack because we already imported struct at the beginning pack so we will this little integer n and number Okay, um, next we need to send it back, so send s.send converted and we will print out s.receive because we want to know if we passed the level or if we did not pass the level and at the end we will close the socket. So let's run this program, let's zero.py and we've done this. So what um, we see here is this, the please send then the wanted uh, integer as a little nd and 32 bit int and afterwards we send this number and we get thank you sir or madam. So this was ProStar Net Zero.